There are two types of masks, mechanical masks and one more is optical masks. Virtual masks, it looks like virginal only but it is not a virginal people. Wherever I want, there I can drag the cursor and wherever I want, there I can use the cursor and whichever data I want, there I can select the data by using this mouse option. We have a small rubber ball, whichever direction we will move the mouse, on that direction the rubber will be moved. By that, we can able to control the cursor on your mouse. Welcome back to one and all. Myself, Vasanta, lecturer in Computer Science, Vidyashram, Pre University College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Today, we have to start with the first session of second chapter that is Input, Output and Memory Devices. On this chapter, the total weightage in the annual exam will be 6 marks out of 6 marks in part A 1 question, part B 1 question as well as in part C 1 question. In part A for 1 marks 1 question, for 2 marks 1 question as well as for 3 marks 1 question you will get in the annual exam. Whereas on this chapter you will study regarding what do you mean by input devices, output devices, then which are the memory devices, how it will store the data regarding that you will study. Whereas in this session you will come to know regarding under input devices, keyboard, mouse as well as joystick. Then first one by one we discuss what do you mean by input device which are the different types of input devices we have. Input devices helps to give data to the computer for processing purpose with the help of users. Here the user will send the data to the computer for the processing purpose with the help of input devices. When they come on types of input devices there we have keyboard, mouse, monitor, barcode reader, joystick, touch panel, MICR, trackball, all those are input devices. Whereas input devices use it to feed data into computers. Especially for feeding purpose, we need this input devices. Input devices are capable to converting data in a form which can be recognized by computer. Here how the computer can recognize on that way with the help of input devices we can able to feed the values and a computer has several input devices namely like keyboard, mouse, trackball, joystick, scanner, light pen, barcode reader, OCR, OMR, MICR. These are the few examples for input devices. And the devices use it to accept the data and instruction from the user he is called input devices. Input devices is nothing but through that the user can feed the value to the computer for processing purpose. In the exam you may to get the question give the example for input devices. On that time keyboard, mouse, monitor. Monitor acts both input as well as output device. Keyboard, mouse, monitors, then scanner, joystick, light pen, MICR, OCR, all those are example for input devices. Now one by one we will discuss. First we will discuss about keyboard. What is the main use of keyboard? Almost all, all of you can able to see the keyboard that you have several keys. By using that case, we can able to enter the alphabets, we can able to enter the numbers and we can able to enter some special characters also. With that, the keyboard can have some special functional keys also. Through that, I can able to feed the value to the computer. Whereas the most common used input device that is keyboard, it is used to enter both numeric and character type of data. If I want, I can able to enter the numbers that is 0 to n or whichever number you want that is 0 to 9. Under that, whichever combination you want, you can give. As well as you can able to give the characters also, whether it may be uppercase character or it may be lowercase character. It is like a mechanical typewriter. Mechanical typewriter with alphanumeric keys, alphabet as well as numeric keys we have. Then special keys here we have special keys, special symbols we can have, punctuations keys, functionalities keys, 
to perform some specific task. The keyboard contains 101 keys to 104 keys. Approximately it contains the number of keys. This is a keyboard here. Here we have all the keys. Upper case, lower case, the functionalities keys, numeric keys, all type of keys we have. Then the keyboard detects the key present and generate the corresponding ASCII codes which can recognize it by computers. Whatever data we are giving with the help of keyboard that can be recognized by the computer. That means here if you convert that into ASCII format that is American Standard Code for Information Interchange. When we come on types of keyboard under that we have standard keyboard, ergonomic keyboard, wireless keyboard, virtual keyboard as well as compact keyboard. In the exam you may want to get the question list the different types of keyboard. Under that the first one is standard keyboard, ergonomic keyboard, wireless keyboard, virtual keyboard as well as compact keyboard. Whereas the standard keyboard already you know how exactly it will look. But when you come on ergonomic keyboard there the keyboard structure will be in different format. There it mainly reduces the stress on your hands. Mainly it is your ergonomic keyboard is mainly used to avoid stress on your hand. Then wireless keyboard without connection without wires we can able to connect the keyboard to the computer by using bluetooth like that or by using other functionalities we can input the data whereas virtual keyboard the name itself virtual it is look like your virginal keyboard only but it is not a virginal keyboard then compact keyboard this compact keyboard under that the multiple operations can be performed by same keys now one by one we will explain the first one is the standard keyboard the standard keyboard here if you observe we have alphabets numbers as well as functional keys here. The standard keyboard have their basic layouts. The average number of keys under regular keyboard is 105 to 108 keys are there. Here we have functional keys, arrow keys, space keys. This is the space key bar and here alter command like that. This is the number keys and these are the alphabet keys. Like that there are certain types of keys under this standard keyboard. When you come on ergonomic keyboard, if you observe the structure of this ergonomic keyboard, here it mainly avoid the stress on your hand. Especially this is used to avoid stress on your hand. This can be called as ergonomic keyboard. It refers to study of method that can reduce us stress. Mainly it reduces stress on your muscles to avoid repetitive strain injuries when you keep the hand on this keyboard on that time the pressure especially here it will reduce us here that is ergonomic keyboard the next one wireless keyboard the name itself suggests wireless if you observe this keyboard here it does not have any wiring connection is it no here if you observe this mouse there also it does not have any wiring connection Without wire, without wire we can able to connect this keyboard to the computer. That is nothing but the wireless keyboard. It is a keyboard that does not need to connect to the computer via wires. With the help of wires we no need to connect the computers. And this makes very convenient for the use of keyboard comfortability. And here wireless keyboard uses Bluetooth infrared to connect the computers. Here mainly it uses Bluetooth or infrareds are used to connect this keyboard to the computer. Next we will discuss about virtual keyboard. Already I told you virtual means it looks like virginal only but it is not a virginal keyboard. For example on your mobile especially on smart mobile you does not have any keypads. But whenever you want on that time we can able to press the keypad is it or we can able to open the keypad and here there whatever data we want there we can enter. That means it looks like virginal but it is not a virginal one. See if you observe this this can be as virtual keyboard it is not a virginal one but it looks like a virginal 
keyboard only. Whenever we want, there we can open and we can put together command. And whenever we don't want, on that time we can close that. On your mobile itself, especially in smartphone, whenever you want, on that time you can able to open the keypad. Is it no? And whenever you don't want, on that time you can close that. It looks like virginal keyboard only. That is virtual keyboard. It is a software device that leads to use input data just like hardware keyboard. They open as soon as application and it can be controlled by mouse or wire touch screen. By touching that screen, I can able to control. Whereas in your mobile itself, here consider this is your mobile, smart mobile, you can able to see all the data information. Whenever we want, on that time we can able to open the keypad. It looks like virginal only. Here we have all the numbers here and whatever number we want, we can press and we can able to perform the task. That is nothing but virtual keyboard. The next one is compact keyboard. The name itself suggesting compact. It means that these keyboards are slim. It is very small in size and it is usually do not have numerical keypad that is present on the right side of the keyboard. And these are typically used in laptops. If you observe this keyboard, here we have the numerical keys. But in the right side, here you have some more space. Is it not there? You will not want to get the number keys here. It avoids some keys. That is compact key. And each keys will perform multiple tasks, multiple operations here it can able to perform. These are the few types of keys. The first one is standard keyboard. The second one is ergonomic keyboard to avoid the stress. The third one is wireless keyboard. Here without wire we can able to connect. And the fourth one is virtual keyboard without direct looking or without direct virtual keyboard directly we can able to enter the data. That is virtual keyboard. And the fourth one is compact keyboard. All the functions are written within a small area only. All the keys are will perform all type of operations here. Next we will discuss about mouse. Whereas already I told you when you come on input output memory devices there you will study regarding what do you mean by input devices? Which are the different types of input devices? What do you mean by output devices? Which are the different types of output devices? As well as what do you mean by memory? Which are the different types of memory? Whereas the next input device is mouse. What do you mean by this mouse? Mouse is an input device that controls the movement of the cursor on the display screen. Let's consider this is your monitor. On this monitor we have cursor. That cursor wherever you want, there you can drag. The mainly it controls the cursor on your monitor. Mouse stands for mechanically operated user selection equipment. Usually for one mark you will get this question expand mouse that is mechanically operated mechanically operated user selection equipment. The mouse is used as a pointing device especially already I told you here it works like a pointing device. Mouse is a small device that controls roll and navigation along the flat surface. On the flat surface, we are going to keep the mouse. On that mouse, I can able to control the movement of the cursor on your monitor. And wherever I want, there I can drag the cursor. And wherever I want, there I can able to move the cursor. And whichever data I want, there I can select the data by using this mouse option. Then the next, when they come on, the types of mouse. Under that, there are two types of mouse. One is mechanical mouse and one more is optical mouse. There are two types of mouse, mechanical mouse and one more is optical mouse. Then what do you mean by mechanical mouse? If you observe the first diagram, here we have one roller here. We have a roller here. Whereas in the second one, it can be called as optical mouse. Whereas mechanical mouse has a small rubber ball. We have one ball here. Small rubber ball inside here. Inside this mouse we have 
small rubber ball on whichever direction we will move on that direction the ball will move by that we can able to control the cursor on the monitor but when you come on optical mouse it is more accurate and and has no moving part it uses laser to detect the movement whereas in mechanical mouse we have a small rubber ball whichever direction we will move the mouse on that direction the rubber will be moved by that we can able to control the cursor on your monitor whereas in optical mouse we does not have any ball options at all only thing by using laser beams only by using laser beams we can able to control the cursor on your monitor these are the two types of mouse when you come on types of keyboard standard keyboard ergonomic keyboard virtual keyboard compact keyboard but when you come on mouse the first one is mechanical mouse as well as optical mouse in mechanical mouse we have small rubber whereas in optical mouse we does not have any rubber ball and by moving the mouse that ball is also simultaneously it will move inside that by that we can control whereas here by using laser beam we can control next we'll discuss about joystick this is one of the gaming device it is a one of the gaming device here this is a device we especially use it for gaming purpose the name itself suggesting here gaming devices like joystick here it is mainly used to play computer games to perform computer gaming we are using this joystick and this joystick have a some trigger options by that we can able to give command which task exactly it has to be performed or when it has to give the sound or when it has to shoot everything we can able to control here by using this joystick joystick is a one of the input device here it is mainly used for gaming purpose and it having some gears by that gears we can able to control the movement as well as the speed as well as the actions which we can able to perform on the computer it is a gaming devices it can be used to move in all four directions we can able to move the joystick and i can able to control here i can able to control the speed sound actions everything i can able to control by using this joystick then the next one is scanner what is the main use of this scanner why we require the scanner scanner is a one of the input device whereas keyboard is a one of the input device then you have studied regarding mouse mouse is also one of the input device joystick joystick is also one of the input device scanner scanner is also one of the input device then why we require this scanner whereas already in the previous class you come to know regarding hard copy as well as soft copy whereas hard copy means if the data is present in a sheet of paper then we used to call it as hard copy then what do you mean by the soft copy the soft copy means here the data will appear as well as disappear when you press some particular key is it no it means that if the data is present in a system or a pen drive or a floppy disk or in the email whatever may be on that options then it can be called as soft copy is it no whereas this scanner is especially used to convert especially used to convert the hard copy to soft copy on this case can now what happens whatever data in the sheet of paper that data especially that sheet will go to keep it on the scanner then it will scan the data and the same thing is transferred to system that means in soft copy we can convert here in the same way one of the device is there that will converts the soft copy to hard copy which is the device that is printer printer converts the soft copy to hard copy in the same way scanner converts hard copy to soft copy whereas scanner is an input device which works like photocopy machine photocopy machine and it is used when information is available on a paper when we have the data in a sheet of paper on that time we are using it is used to be transferred to the computer for further manipulation 
For example, you have some data on the sheet of paper. That data you want to convert it into soft copy. Then on the soft copy, whatever changes, whatever modification you want, you can able to perform. That means whatever data in a hard copy, that when you want to convert soft copy, on that time we require this scanner. And the scanner captures images. Whatever images in the scanner will keep that we want to capture as it is, then that will convert into soft copy. On the soft copy, whatever changes we want, that we can able to perform. A scanner captures images from the source which are then converting into digital format. Then on this class, the major concept you have studied regarding input devices, then under that keyboard, keyboard is one of the standard one. Here, this helps to give alphabets I can able to enter, numbers I can able to enter, special symbols I can able to enter, as well as I can use arrow keys, space bar, everything I can able to perform here. Then when you come on type, standard keyboard, ergonomic keyboard, wireless keyboard, virtual keyboard, as well as compact keyboard. Standard one, ergonomic means especially to reduce the stress on your muscles. Wireless, without wire connection, virtual, it looks like virginal keyboard, but it is not a virginal one. Compact, all the keys are compacted in some particular place. The single key itself acts multiple actions. That is standard keyboard, this is a standard keyboard, this is the ergonomic keyboard and this one is wireless keyboard and is a virtual keyboard and the last one is compact keyboard. Next when you come on mouse, two types of mouse that is optical mouse as well as mechanical mouse. But mouse is used to control the movement on your cursor, especially on the monitor we can able to, curse, we can able to control the cursor. When you come on the expansion of mouse, mechanically operated user selection equipment for selecting purpose. The name itself is just saying manually operated, whichever they want. The user can select that user selection equipment. And the mouse is mainly used as a pointing devices. And when they come on types, mechanical as well as optical. The mechanical mouse contains a rubber ball. That rubber ball, whichever direction we will move, whichever direction will move the mouse, on that direction the ball will move. Depending upon that, the cursor will control. Whereas optical mouse, there it uses laser beams to detect the operation or to control the cursor. And when you come on joystick, it is also one of the input device used to for gaming purpose. Here, by using this joystick, we can able to control the speed, actions and work, everything we can able to control, especially in gaming operations. And the next one is scanner. Scanner is also one of the input device. This helps to convert the hard copy to soft copy. Next class, we will meet with the remaining concept, like which are the other input devices like OMR, that is optical character reader, MICR, Magnetic Ink Character Recognizer, OMR, Optical Mark, MICR and with that which are other input devices and which are the output devices like what do you mean by printer, speakers, plotter, how exactly it will work as well as what do you mean by memory, which are the types of memory regarding that next class you will come to know. Thank you for all of you.